Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the 3 wire star connected and balanced load. Details of star connected and balanced load. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. 3 phase star connected with the unbalanced load. The balanced load video is available separately. This is the unbalanced load. So let us assume a phase sequence of RYB, red, yellow, blue, RYB. Then the reference phase voltage will be VRY. The voltage between R phase and Y phase is taken as a reference voltage, reference phaser. The three direction of current is shown in the diagram. The three wire star connected unbalanced load with conventional polarity of voltage and directions are given below. Now we will refer the diagram. So that we will see the direction of current as well as the voltage. So this is the star connected. Star connected means 3 ends of ROB is connected to common point called a neutral point or star point. Then other ends are available at the output side ROB. Right? 3 ends are available at the output side. The one end of all three phases are connected together to form the neutral point or star point. Right. Now we will see this R, Y, B, three phases. This is the current, line current. The line current between the two lines, R and Y, V, R, Y. V, Y, B is the line voltage, sorry, line voltage. This is the voltage, V, R, Y. The line voltage between R phase and Y phase. Then V, Y, B is the line voltage between Y phase and B phase. Similarly, V, B, R is the line voltage between R phase and B phase. Then this is the line current, current flowing from the R phase, IR, current flowing from the Y phase, IY, current flowing from the B phase, IB. So inside this is the phase voltage, phase voltage and phase current. This side line voltage and line current, thereafter once you enter into the load and the load, load end, this is the line end, this is the load end. Right? So VR is the phase voltage across the R phase, VY is the phase voltage across the Y phase. VB is the phase voltage across the B phase. Similarly, this IY is the current flowing through the Y phase. IR is the current flowing through the R phase. IB is the current flowing through the B phase. Here the important thing is this line current and phase current both are equal in star connected. The current flowing from the R phase, line current IR is equal to line current, equal to phase current. But the voltage is different. See this between R and Y, we have VRY, but at this phase and we have two phases are available, R phase and Y phase. So vector difference of R phase and Y phase is the VRY, right? VRY is the vector difference between R phase and Y phase. Similarly, the R VYB is the vector difference between Y phase and B phase. Similarly, VBR is the vector difference between B phase and R phase. Right? So, in the star connected, line current and phase current are equal, but the line voltage is the vector sum of two phase voltages. Right? So, this is the, uh, conventional di the conventional direction of current and voltage in a star connected system. Now, we will go for the analysis, further analysis. So, the line voltage, we will see the voltage and current. The line voltage of the supply or source for RYB sequence are VRY equal to VL, line voltage with 0 degree. This is taken as a reference vector or RYB is a reference spacer. VYB is VL with minus 120 degree. We know that there is a 120 degree phase displacement between okay, each and every phase. Each and every phase is displaced by 120 degree. So, VRY is 0 degree means VYB automatically VL with minus 120 degree. VBR is the VL with minus 240 degree. There is a phase difference between these two is 120 degree. Between these two is 240 minus 0 means plus 120 degree. So, normally it is 120 degree phase difference between each and phase, each and every phase. VL is nothing but magnitude of the line voltage, right? Magnitude of line voltage. I will go for the further. In unbalanced star connected load, it will be easier to solve the line currents by assuming two sources across the line 
whose values are equal to the corresponding line voltages right the line current we are assuming with the corresponding to line voltages so this is the first assumption then consider the circuit shown below in which the voltage source value vry is connected across r and y right vry is the voltage across r and y and voltage source of the value v v v y b is connected across y and b right so we consider two things v r y connected across r y v y b connected across y and b now we'll see the diagrams for the further analysis so here the r y b is available v r y is the voltage line voltage across r and y v y b is the line voltage across y and b right so this is the line current i r i y i b then impedance is that r is that b and is that y for analysis we are going to form the kbl kits of voltage law loop method so we consider this is the first loop starting from r is that r is that y and y is considered as the first loop current flowing through the first loop is i1 starting from y is that y is that b then b is the second loop with the current flowing in the second loop is i2 right so this is the first loop with current i1 this is the second loop with current i2 now we are going to find the value of i1 and i2 using matrix method kits of voltage law with matrix method matrix method is v equal to i into r we need to form the voltage matrix current matrix and impedance matrix for loop 1 and loop 2 right the current is i1 and i2 the two current in the two loops are i1 and i2 the voltage matrix is v r y and v y b right what is the impedance matrix impedance matrix is the for the first loop the impedance will be z r plus z y right for the second loop it is z y plus z b these two are connected in the second loop these two are connected in the first loop what is the common between first and second loop is z y z y is available in loop 1 as well as loop 2 this is z y is common between loop 1 and loop 2 right so r 1 1 z 1 1 is nothing but z r plus z y z 2 2 is nothing but z y plus z y plus z b or z 1 1 means total impedance in the loop 1 z 2 2 is the total impedance in loop 2 z 1 2 or 2 1 is the commonly available between loop 1 and loop 2 that is z y so using that we can frame the matrix then we will analyze the current see the current this i r is nothing but i 1 the current i r is nothing but this is the current i 1 is flowing in a loop so i r equal to i 1 similarly i b is nothing but i 2 but it is flowing in opposite direction so i b is the minus i 2 i r is i 1 both are equal see the direction both are equal this i b is nothing but the current i 2 is the i r i b but flowing in opposite direction so i b equal to minus i 2 what about this i y current i y is i 1 also flowing here then i 2 also flowing right both are flowing in a opposite direction i 1 is flowing from this side to that side i 2 is flowing from that side to this side both are in opposite so i 2 minus i 1 will give the i y right the current i y is nothing but the difference between i 2 and i 1 right i r is i 1 i b is i 2 but negative i y is difference between i 2 and i 1 because in i y both i 1 also flowing i 2 also flowing so the difference between these two so based on that we can go for the further analysis what we discussed will frame the equation so the circuit shown above have two meshes we already discussed hence we assume two mesh currents are i 1 and i 2 as shown in the diagram the mesh basic matrix equation is so this is the equation we need to find v equal to i into z v equal to i into r or v equal to i into z the v is v r y v y b the voltage in the first loop voltage in the second loop this is similarly current i1 and i2 current in the first loop current in the second loop this is z11 we already discussed z11 means impedance in the first loop that is z r plus z y z22 this is impedance in the second loop zb plus zy 
this is nothing but z1 2 this is z2 1 that is a commonly available between loop 1 1 loop 2 that is minus z y other the diagonal is positive other than diagonal we need to treat it as a negative so that minus z y so this is z1 1 impedance in the first loop z2 2 impedance in the second loop z1 2 and z2 1 both are same the commonly available between loop and loop 1 and loop 2 impedance z y right now framed the equation now we'll go for the calc how to calculate the current by using this we can calculate the current value so that the delta the delta is nothing but the matrix the impedance matrix is the delta z r plus z y minus z y minus z y z b plus z y so we can find the delta value if you replace the first column with voltage it will give delta 1 if you replace the second column with the voltage that will give the delta 2 right so this is the impedance matrix is delta 1 in that the first column replaced with the voltage matrix will give the delta 1 replacing the second column with the voltage matrix will give the delta 2 now we got the value delta delta 2 and delta 1 these values are not calculated but we can calculate so after calculating we can easily find the i1 current and i2 current i1 is delta 1 by delta i2 is delta 2 delta 2 divided by delta so this is a formula from this mesh current the line current can be obtained as below right after calculating i1 and i2 we can calculate the line current now we'll see how to calculate the line current as we already discussed this ir is i1 both the directions are equal but i b equal to i 2 but negative minus i 2 then i y both i 2 and i 1 is flowing so that i 2 minus i 1 this thing already we discussed in the diagram itself so i r is i 1 i b is minus i 2 i y is i 2 minus i 1 so this i y is both the currents are flowing so the difference between these two so now we got the line current in star connected load the phase currents are the same as that of line current we already discussed only the voltage is phase are difference but the current line current and phase current are equal therefore the phase and line currents in the polar form can be written as so for so based on that we can write the line current in the polar form i r equal to i r with angle of gamma r i y equal to i y with an angle of gamma y i b is the i b with an angle of gamma b right what is that i r i y i b are the magnitude of line and phase currents y uh, gamma r gamma y gamma b is the are the phase angle of the line and phase current with respect to the reference phases right this is the angle corresponding line and phaser angle right so for we can go for the further analysis now now the phase voltages are given by the product of phase current and phase impedance by using the ohms law applied to the ac circuit so that vr equal to ir into zr that is vr with an angle of del r vy equal to iy into zy iy is we calculated zy already available in the diagram that is equal to vy with an angle of delta y vb equal to ib into zb that is equal to vb with an angle of delta b right so now we calculated the phase voltage also first we calculated the loop current from that we calculated the line voltage line current by using line current and impedance we calculated the phase voltages where vr vy vb are the magnitude of phase voltage del r del y del b are the phase angle of phase voltage with respect to the reference phase right so now we calculated current the phase voltage is calculated from the phase current now we'll go for the power calculation so power consumed by three phase load p equal to power consumed by r phase load plus power consumed by y phase load plus power consumed by b phase load right the three phase is equal to power consumed by r phase y phase and b phase therefore p equal to 
magnitude of vr into magnitude of ir into cos phi 1 plus magnitude of vy magnitude of iy plus into cos phi 2 plus magnitude of vb magnitude of ib into cos phi 3 we will see what is the what is this pi 1 and pi 2 and pi 3 so that is equal to vr ir cos phi 1 vy iy cos phi 2 plus vb ib cos phi 3 right now we will see what is mean by this pi 1 pi 1 is the phase difference between vr and ir pi 2 is the phase difference between vy and iy pi 3 is the phase difference between vb and ib right so now we calculated the power now we will go for the further formula what are the further formulas available so pi 1 equal to del r minus gamma r so del r gamma r we already discussed pi 2 is del y minus gamma y pi 3 equal to del b minus gamma b right so with uh, from these two angle we can calculate pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 so pi 1 equal to pi r pi 2 equal to pi y pi 3 equal to pi b so we, by using that we can calculate so in this video we discuss the star connected uh, and balanced load right we analyze the first we analyze the conventional current and voltage direction then by using Kirchhoff's voltage law mesh method we find the I1 and I2 loop current from that we calculated the line current by using line current and impedance we calculated the phase voltage from that we calculated the power in that we analyze the angle also subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.